as you can see by the title this is going to be about market maker buy and sell models but most importantly it's going to be about how to manage how to manage your stop in a market maker buy and sell it it sounds probably difficult but it's really easy but yeah and also there's a discord link in the description for everyone to join you guys can join either write this down type this out or just count on your fingers and remember what i say but on the left side of your chart doesn't matter if it's up or down if you have a fair value gap it could be a busy or sippy it doesn't matter whatever you're imagining but in this case it's it's sibbies so look for the most obvious fair value gaps if you have to look for a tiny one it's not there but look for the most obvious fair value gaps and it, those should hold the price every sibby bro look for all the up close ranges when price gets in there, I'm talking the left side. When, when price gets in there, they should hold in, not above. It could be in. And and then, so if you take these old sibbies here and you extend them out, price should hold for one in these. Another one. And I'm going to make this, I'm going to do this yellow. So, yeah, old obvious for value gaps in this case sibbies should hold price when it gets in there old one here this is the most obvious one but you can use this one the reason why is because it's the highest one which would leave these to be breakaways everyone wants to know how do you know if it's gonna be a breakaway well if you have old inversion we took sell side and shift and, and we have higher objectives that need to be met, which is your SIBI that's open with liquidity under it. This is strong. Now, when you take these types of buys here, you're not going to, you're going to obviously be a little bit scared on putting your stop. That's why you wait to see what it does after that. But this is about the left side right now. We're going to get to the right in one second. Look at it like left side is number one. So focus here first. Right side is number it, it can be number two left side is number one you always want to focus on your left side more than your right there's there's only there's specific times when you want to focus on your right side and i'm going to get into that the only time you focus on the right side of the chart pd raise bro is if you have a left side with it and the only thing on the left side you want to worry about is up close ranges or sibbies or bissies but in this case for value gaps that's the only time you even want to use the right side of a chart pd array so what that means is, first thing, you have an up-close range here. Extend it out. That then, after you you identify these ranges, you have a busy. So this should hold. That's how you try your stop. But also you have an order block. When price trades above this down-close candle here, that's a change in state. This is where you start marking your down close candles as they form, as price is delivering up here. So when you have your MMXM, when you're looking on the left side of your chart before it even pans out, you can get the shift. But once you get the shift, you want to look for a fair value gap that's not filled. If you can get a fair value gap that's not filled, this is where you take profit. First, fair value gap that's not filled. Second, liquidity pool or single high beneath the SIBI. Or, or, or busy if it's a market maker buy or sell. So first thing, look for a fair value gap that's open. Second, look for a high or multiple. Third is look for inversions. Fourth is look for up close ranges. Those are the four things you want to look for on the left side of the chart. Then you go to the right side. What you look for on the right side is everything I named on the left, extend it out. Then you want to blend that you, the only way you can get to the right side is if you blend it. it it's, like a, it's like a key. You need this to get to here. You can't just look on the right side. You have to use these things. So basically, you use the things on the right side is you want to look for bissies in this case. Blend it with the left. Order blocks. Blend it with the left. So that's how you use the right side of the chart on, uh, and market maker buy model. Yeah. Just this is this how you trade your stop is because now you know 
every Danko's candle that price trades above should hold. It sounds basic, bro, but if you just go to your chart and you study every time you think you're in a market maker buy model or sell model, you can quickly determine if you're in a market maker buy or sell model. So you see how we have this is a bad entry, but you get the concept. Um, you see how we have this SIBI here? This is where you want to get filled. I'm just doing this for demonstration. I mean, what what jumps out at you in this MMXM right now? For for take profits, it should be these lows here. So one thing I'm looking for is price runs up. It's a change in state. So what that is is an order block on the right side of the curve for me. So yeah, I just want to see price uh, get beneath this and use the bodies to go lower. On the right side of the curve, this is the stuff you'd expect. So if this was the right side of the curve, right here, and this is the market maker sell out of the 15 minute SIBI that we were talking about. This is how it should deliver on the, on the right side. So these are areas that I'm watching. I'll let it mohawk and get to the 50, so I'm keeping my stop above this candle. But nonetheless, this inversion and this inversion, they should all hold price where it's at. So when I get a change in state, you'll see what I'm talking about. Me personally, I like this big run up. I like that big run up of, of this candle here. Now this candle, I want to see this one close beneath that and use this as an order block. If it does that, I'll go short again. Reason being is because um, I'm expecting this whole up close range here to be a order block. Basically this, That that's all I'm expecting. Like I said, I gave you room for a mohawk. Depending on where this candle closes, it's going to tell you a lot. Okay, that's a change in state. You can short this. It happens very quick, but um, you can short this. You can give it room for the low of that, but nonetheless, this is all a good short. And I reduced the stop now down to here. Also, you have lower objectives, which is very good. But as far as MMXM goes, now if when price closes, you could take your old inversions like this and extend them out. This is to help you manage your stops. What that means is if we can close down here, you'd want to see this stay under the 50% of this range like this. You see this, this down close, that's your breaker. You can extend this out and um, price should stay under it, this whole range. So from that low to this high, these th ignore these. This is your breaker. You'd wanna see price stay under 50% of this whole range. So from the high to the low, you wanna stay under 50, but more specifically under, under these down close candles here until we get down here. As far as this, this SIBI goes, you want you, in a scenario like this, <coughs> we gotta see where this candle closes, but um, if it does get into here, I'd want it to stay under a quarter. And I'm, I'm gonna explain why for me. So if I, let's say, let's pretend I was still in the short, um, I would have my stop like right there and I'm explain why and I actually don't really want it to get into there but if it does I, I, I would give it less under 50 to under a quarter because if you look on the left side of the curve I trail my stop on the left side I don't trail it on the right 
unless I get an order block like this. But other than that, the left side of the curve, just, if you look at your old down close candles, you can extend the lowest ones out. And they should really stay under that on an MMXM. So, um, let's make this, like, ignore the title. So, if price is going to deliver lower, let's say it's going to go for that low, you'd want it to stay under 50 on a fair value gap like this one specifically, bro. Because, look at the context. Um, You have down close, down close. You'd want it to stay under the 50. In fact... There's two options you could do here. One, you can go short straight off this SIBI, or you can wait for a change in state. What that means is um, we have an up close, and then one exceeds the down, and then opens. That's a change in state. This right here, that's a change in state delivery. So there's a few options you can do here. So if you were to short here, your stop could be right where I put mine. If you want to see more confirmation off this, you could wait for it to get beneath a... Uh, up close candle not just any it has to look it has to have a powerful candle up and then one that just goes beneath it powerful candle up and then one that goes beneath it this is what you want to see I'd, I'd need to see change in state because when i have big for value gaps like this the first thing i ask myself is damn where the fuck do i short in here you can you like word up my stop. That that's what I'm saying, and, and it's very simple. One, wait for a change in state. So up, down, and then you can short, reducing your stop to here, or use that and use the left side of the curve. Those two, or wait for your deepest discount PDRA, like your order blocks, and then stop above that. So I'm watching this down close candle here. You see how we got above it? Let's say you are short off this SIBI here. You don't want to see it respect this. Because these, when you see a down close candle and prices are tracing into a SIBI like that, this is the first sign of, of, of a reversal. Um, now, the second thing is, is you want to monitor what price is doing off this down close candle. This is, this is something he does not teach. You're going to have to really study him to see that he said it one time in one of his videos but this is something you're really gonna have to study but this is the first sign of a reversal if it's rejecting off this so if you short if you go short off of a sibi for mmxm watch and this is the right side of the curve so let me actually So if you're on the right side of the curve and you're shorting a SIBI like this one, this one, any SIBI, and you're on the right side going for um, original consolidation or terminus, bro, every time you get a down close candle like this prior to retracing in the SIBI, you want to monitor how you're closing on that. Yeah, so you want to monitor how you're closing and rejecting off these levels because it's not supposed to respect them. I'm gonna get rid of this so it's not distracting. These are all exam. If you're, this is all even makes sense if you don't think it is. This is all. Long story short, I'm saying it should stay under 50% of this. It can mohawk, but it it should stay under 50. That's first because of these. Second, that should stay under 50. Is I want to see bearishness, but what would remove that is if we respect this down close candle. And now. This is what prevents you from taking losses. It's just waiting. Because I want to see a change in state. We're not getting that. In fact, this is a reversal. So for your MMXM, these are all things to um, note. On the left side of the curve, you can use old fair value gaps, which are inversions, extend them out. And you can use old down close ranges, bro. So this high to that lows a range. This high to that lose a range. Now, I didn't need price to get up to 50 or past a quarter to know it's going to reverse. All I needed was this down close candle here, extend it out. And if we tap the SIBI and start rejecting off that, we're, we're going higher. That doesn't mean we're not going to come down off this level. That just means you can observe more drawdown than you need to.
This is why I say you wait for a change in state on a fair bay gap like this. You just wait for it. So for me and why I took profit where I did, which was here, um, the reason why I took profit here is because this low here wasn't promised just because it took an old low and then it took that, which makes it high resistance. So if I take this, so yeah, you got low here, low there. That made this high resistance. I still see it coming down here today because this is, this is a gap. But beyond that, the reason why I took profit here is because it was the most obvious liquidity pool. And usually when pools get taken, you want to monitor like everything I showed you. How you know they're, they're they're buying these sell stops and how you know they're they're buying this, these lows is because look at how, how price went up. That's how you know they're buying these sell stops. But most importantly, when I marked out this down close candle and extended it out and said, watch how we trade off that. There's more context to it than that. Sell stops ran. Let's see if they buy them. How do you know if the city's going to hold? Well, look at this down close candle. And to be honest, if you can get a SIBI like this without a down close candle, like in the way, that's how you know the SIBI is going to hold to go lower. Let's see if I can find an example. Like, I, this is a shitty one, but this is still, uh, it still works. And I, and I took this on my uh, Apex account. But like this you see how we get straight into this sibby and there's no down close candle to fight that thing bro what that means is there was no body above to fight a, a down close candle and go up it just wicked in and then there's nothing for it to fight so it came straight down usually when you get a sibby and there's no down close candle that that's good like this one again there's no down close candle in the way of that. It just ran up, short it, and it'll just bring you in. Unlike this, these two. So you have a down close candle here. Price closes above it. It's going to give you resistance. That's why you monitor that stuff. Same thing here. Down close candle here. Price closes above it. And it's giving you resistance off that. That's what you don't want to see until you get the change in state. And it could be with the body. It could be with the wicks. It's all narrative off of key levels. Hey man, if you want freedom in this bitch, shorty, I ain't gotta say too much. RP my shot is from my shot. Look, I'ma tell you the truth, you ain't body nobody, you ain't never go plot on nobody. You ain't put in no work for these shotters, be damned if I die and nobody get body. You try to get up with me soon as you up your bitch, I'ma slam knock your soul out your body. I'm a real shot, a top shot, you could go and ask karma, should tell you about me. Bitch, I've been official, too official, still official, I could put that on dead dogs. Bet you if you run into my shot, we dropping that bitch, send him up to his dead dogs. Get him out of here, catch that bitch out of bounds, and we leaving that bitch out of gas. Mama steady, remind me to slow down, but mama, I got something for when it go down. When I pop up, bitch, I got the pull out, you mug at me wrong, and bitch, watch how I show out. Got a stick in my glizzy, ain't hard to get with me, bitch, and I ain't going like Ricky. Plus, my slimmer will fully pull up, and I'm shredded shit. All of my ops getting bullied. Try to take me out once but two times, and on both those occasions, I made it out fine. Without a scratch on me, I keep my strap on me, and my little shot of right here gonna attack for me. Know if I die, my little bro gonna get back for me. Probably crash out with my slimmers, it's that for me. What would you do if you had to smoke? You a kid, you was cool with. I think that most of you niggas would lose it. Don't get in the middle of it if you clueless. Don't, and don't know what happened, just stay in your lane. When my shot got attacked, I was feeling the pain on the bracelet. Was stuck on home confinement. Said they was gonna slide, but they was lying. Then I got off that brace, been this shit every day. Me and Mizzy two up, and we got in the chase. Did the dash on them bitches, gave us too much space. And before I go back, they gonna see how I play. I'ma tell you the truth, you ain't body nobody, you ain't never go plot on nobody You ain't put in no work for these shotters, be damned if I die and nobody get body You try to get up with me soon as you up your bitch, I'ma slam knock your soul out your body I'm a real shot, a top shot, you could go and ask karma, should tell you about me Bitch, I been official, too official, still official, I could put that on dead dogs Bet you if he run into my shot, we dropping that bitch, send him up to his dead dogs Get him out of here, catch that bitch out of bounds, and we